Hey guys, it's Brendan with TJ's Tackle. I want to talk a little bit today about my pouring setup. Um, using a Lee Pro 420 melting pot. I built a stand for this. It makes it easy for me to be able to see where I'm putting in the lead when I line it up. I don't have to bend down to do that. It gives me a space to put all my sprues when I'm done sprueing. And then I just keep those and I'll dump them back in when I'm ready to go. I want to talk about a little bit about what I'm doing with it, with the tools. Uh, for this is used, I just skim the garbage off the top and then just put it on the side when I'm doing that. I keep a pair of needle nose pliers handy and, and this is what I use for dropping in my ingots. Makes it easy. You gotta be careful if you're using wheel weight lead. Sometimes it can slip a little bit. They're, they're not as easy to put in. So I always put those in last or into a cold pot. I use my screwdriver here. This is something that a, guy, a lot of guys don't know about. The screw on top can control the flow. When I'm doing smaller jigs, I don't want my pot to be full. And so I can control that just by twisting it and it'll shut off the flow. It'll make it a lot slower. Um, when I've got it up at the top, if I'm doing larger jigs, one inch or larger, I keep that all the way open. So we're going to show a little bit later. I'm going to turn this on. We're going to go and do some more videotaping. And, and then I'll come back and show you how I actually pour. Um, this is another tool that I use often. This is just a, a 5 out 410 Eagle Claw hook that I cut off. And I'll take this. If you ever notice anything spurting out to the side funny or just not pouring right, you're getting suddenly started getting funny pours, I just take this so I'm not right underneath it and I just cram it up in there and I'll go up inside. You'll, I can't do it now because it's solidified, but when it's hot I'll show you that. And it cleans that out and it'll give you a nice flow. Um, one other thing, when you're pouring, I always want to keep protected. I never pour without long sleeves and I normally wear gloves. I just wear jersey gloves. If I'm going to be pouring where I need to handle the hooks with my fingers, I'll cut the fingers off, but for the most part, probably 90% of my burns come from splashing lead that we're splashing on my hands. So just cheap 99 cent jersey gloves will do the trick for you. I've got my, my sprue cutters, this is what I use flush cutters for that. And then I've got a utility knife that I use for cleaning off any flashing. There's different molds that will pour differently. Some will have flashing, some won't. You want to clean them up really well, especially if you're selling these. You want them to look good. You don't want flashing around your hook. You don't want flashing anywhere on there. You want them to look really nice. Um, I have some wax out here. That is for fluxing. I don't normally flux anymore. I haven't found a need to. I don't smoke my molds. I don't flux. The key is to put clean lead into your melting pot. When I melt my lead down, I get, get it from different sources. I don't know how well you can see it in the camera, but these are this one's soft, this one is wheel weight lead. The, they're very visibly different, and if I you can tell by pounding on them, you hear a difference and you can just see the size of the dents is different. When I pour, I use a mixture of soft and hard lead, two to one. So as I melt everything down, I use just a cupcake tin. I pour these. These are about two pound pucks. They fit in here really well. Nice and easy. And I will use a ratio of two soft to one hard. Now, if I'm pouring and they're not completing, then I will add more soft lead. I see that question all the time. Why aren't my jigs getting all the way filled in? And that's because it's not hot enough, number one, and it's, it's basically solidifying before it, it fills in the cavity. Using soft lead will help with that, so sometimes if I'm really struggling, you can turn up the heat on here. I typically pour at around six, and I normally don't ever change that. I'll just change the type of lead that I'm putting in. And because I get so many different lead sources, the hardness can vary a little bit. So you'll You'll know after you've done this for a while, you'll be able to tell what is the problem. So, um, I think we're going to go inside and do some more videotaping. Oh, one other uh, 
For this, there's a screw right here that on the, the melting pots. It tends to come loose once in a while. So I just keep this handy to tighten that just to make sure that it gets tightened. That's all I got for now. We'll talk to you later.